Hey everybody! Welcome back to Geologist Plays Minecraft. Uh, this the first set of a series of scientists play. Today here I have with me uh, Leather Pickles. Leather Pickles, do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> what do you do? What's your uh, what's your degree and what do you study? Yeah, so today, very cool, we are going to, and there I see you loaded in under the name Ziltoid, joining into my realm here that I played last week with Crunchy Cereal, the geologist. I, of course, am a geologist, but I also have a lot of background in wildlife ecology as well. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, the biomes present in Minecraft and whether or not they're realistic or unrealistic. Um, right off the bat here, working with some agriculture, do you... Uh, do you know where you loaded in, Pickles? I can give you, um, also your audio is coming in a little quiet. Totally. Getting my agriculture growing here. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I will have my technical assistant come up and set me up something better. And I will go into my house and put the stream on, be right back. So be right back stream. Right click desktop audio. Maybe that worked? I don't know. Oh, I see you blipping up. Say something. Go ahead, Pickles. Hello. All right. Can you hear me on the screen? Hopefully. Anyone in chat? Can anyone uh, in chat verify that they hear Leather Pickles talking to us here? I don't know why Discord is so difficult to stream with. Pickles speak. Hopefully you guys can hear her. Awesome, sweet. Yeah, go ahead, just your mic, move it a little closer, I think. Awesome, cool. So again, we are here joined with Leather Pickles, our resident zoologist, expertise in wildlife ecology and forestry, and also sign language. So that's cool, but not rocks, but that's okay, because I'm the geologist here, but I also got a bit of a background in wildlife ecology. So the two of us will be talking about biomes, as I mentioned earlier. And first thing I'm going to do is try and locate pickles. Uh, if you hit F3, it'll pull up your where you're located with your targeted block. I'm at negative 112, 64, negative 199. Where are you? I didn't go that far from spawn, so... Push F3. I'm at negative 
is facing north. You don't need to say all that. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, you're going to die because it's nighttime. Walk towards, walk towards uh, the negative 90s. Chad is saying they still can't hear you. Okay, so they can hear you. It's just you're really, really quiet. Um, so I will try to, I'll turn up desktop audio and then lower Minecraft audio. There, how's that? That should be better, chat. Sorry about that. So, sorry the audio is so difficult in this game. Um, yeah, you're, you're really not far from me, though. I'm at negative 90s. If you're at the 200s. In that direction. Why can't we play in creative mode so I can fly? Um, because this is a fun realm where we're doing survival. I don't know how to survive in the wilderness in the video game. I'll. You know how to survive in the wilderness in real life. You're a woofer. This is a video game. Okay. And I'm holding a block. Hold on. Dirt. Are you at negative 200 or positive 200? Negative 140 now because I'm heading towards 90s. Okay, yeah, you're pretty close then. I need to climb this mountain. You don't need to climb a mountain. There's no mountains. Just go around it. Can I swim in this game? Yes. Hold space. Oopsies. You should really hurry up because it's going to get dark in like three minutes. Negative 90s. Hello? Set own game to... Yeah, I did not hear you. I just set it to creative mode and I have no idea how I did that. I was inside of the mountain. Did you do that? Someone help! <laughs> I don't know Minecraft well enough. Okay. It's in creative mode now, so you can fly. Sarah, did you hear me? Hello? Pickles! Pickles! Sorry, I, I can probably hear you again now. Okay, cool. Uh, it's in creative mode. I don't know how that happened. Can you hear me? I don't know how to turn it off of creative mode. Uh, I can hear you just fine, but it's very quiet. You're gonna die. What's, uh, what's going on, Pickles? Everything okay? Hello? Is this thing on? I'm gonna assume you can hear me because my thing is lighting up. I'm just trying to fix the fact that I cannot hear you. Okay. Is technical assistance nearby? But I'm working on it. I'm also inside of a mountain. Cool. That's awesome. I'm gonna try and figure out how to turn off creative mode. Seven. How to turn Minecraft, uh, press T to bring up in-game console box and to the command. Well, that doesn't. I hear you now. That can't be it. Can you hear me now? I can hear you just fine. You can hear me the whole time? Yeah. Well, oh. no, it, it got really quiet for a while. Sorry, I couldn't hear you for a moment, but now I can. Awesome. Uh, it's in a hole until it's morning. Okay, it's on creative mode, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know how to turn it off or how I turned it on. 
How do I fly? Space bar. Not working. Double tap space bar. Not working. Okay, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about this game. What, what is the, can I swear on this stream or is this family? Yeah. What the fuck is the point of a video game if I can't fly? This is a zombie wearing a hat. Okay, what block are you at? Uh, hang on one second, I can tell you in just a moment. Negative 60 block, negative 61. Yeah, you went too far. I'm at like negative 90. Oh. Just tell, yeah, I'll just, I'll find you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit tight. Okay, negative 60, and what's your second number? 64. What? 64? Negative 60, positive 64, and negative 363. What? I'm in a mountain. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in a mountain. We are in the same world, right? You added me to a... <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Where are you? I, oh, that's not you. That's the zombie. Um, Go to the river. I had to kill the zombie before he killed me. Just run away from him. No. Also, don't go in a mountain. In the stream after I kill this zombie. Can zombies swim? Yes. Accurate. How are you at 300? Am I reading the right thing? In the XYZ? No. In the no, block? you're not. Yeah, in the block, under block. Yeah, okay, so block is negative, well now I'm at negative 50, space, positive 64, space. And you don't see my house. Negative 60. Negative 50, but I can go to negative 60 over here. I'm at negative 60, and where are you? Negative, well let me get on the ground, I'm not on the ground. You need to get to Negative 70, positive 60, negative 137. Okay, that's where I've gone wrong. So, 60, negative 70. <laughs> whoop, whoop. All right, this has been a... Uh... This has been a series of trial and error. It is dark. Uh, it is. I, I still can't figure out how to turn off creative mode. I still can't figure out how to fly. I, it might be that only I can fly because I put the game in creative mode. I see how it is. Enter the command game mode C. I, how do I, what is that? What does that mean? I need a Minecraft person. Uh, our technical consultant is on their lunch break. I died. Uh, yep, so you're gonna go back to wherever you were, by the way. Cool. Command, command. You should be able to teleport me to you. Look, I, you, you know, how do I do that? I don't know. You are God right now. There's many purple flowers. I'm going towards those. They, I'm by purple flowers. Yep. I see alpacas. I don't see you though. I am chopping down a tree that is quite literally in my way. Purple flowers. And some yellow flowers. Oh. That doesn't help. This is awful. Uh, all right, well, let's find you. Any idea where you are now? There's a cow. 
I went up as far as I could go, so I'd be most visible and could see most of the landscape here. Um, I see a little pasture with some white and blue flowers and some cows. Do you see a house? Okay. What are your coordinates? Negative two, 255. Positive 85. Oh, I'm in survival mode again. Oh, okay, I figured it out. All right, one more time. Negative 255, positive Okay, hold on, negative 255. Let's get to that first. Negative. Today, kids, we're learning about radio telemetry and how to use the GPS. Oh, I, I just heard you die. So, all right, where are you now? Negative 200. Okay, negative 200. Positive 78. Check. What, uh, what's next? Oh, hey, I see your house. Okay, go to the house. Okay. <laughs> There's no way you see the house. Where are you? I'm by your house, apparently. Is it big? I define big. It's pretty small. It's got some farms around it. There's a glass roof over this chicken pen, so I'm going straight into the chicken pen. Don't go into the chicken pen. It's but but yeah, it's it's behind the house. I see you! Yay, we did it! Okay, how do I run? Uh control. Hi. Alright. What don't hit me please. Don't hit me please. Don't hit me please. Oh, oh, stop, mean. God! <laughs> what? The door broke. What? Because I'm in creative mode. <laughs> but I didn't break it. No, but we're going to die. Why? What do you mean, why? Because the house is full of zombies. Oh, <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. <laughs> There's like seven of them. I'm hiding in a hole. Oh. All right, come back to the house and I'll make you a bed. I can't make you a bed. I am back in the house and I'm closing the door because there's a zombie, so sorry if I left you out. I am in the other house. I don't have the same color wool. Oh, there's still a zombie. Um, what do I do? Come into the other house. I can't because because zombies. Ah, ah. I can't use the block. I'm jumping off the balcony. I don't care anymore. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you lost the game. Yeah, I I completely I completely crashed. All right, rejoin. Me. Now that we have everything functional. Okay, I can now, again, use the crafting block. All right, let's see about making you a bed so we can get you a point. Okay. How much no is a bed? That, like, on the stream can see my screen and all the stupid stuff I'm doing, right? No, but they can hear it. Good. Um, is there no door on that building now? Uh, I don't believe so. Nope, and I don't believe I can really craft one yet. I need to go collect some. No, just come in here. Sarah, I have all the stuff. There is a flaming skeleton. Yep, and he just got into my house. I help. Thanks. Come inside. Come inside. <laughs> There's food and some weapons in this chest. Can I take the iron axe? Yes. I'm gonna make us a door. And then what we can do is we can, I made three for some reason. Don't know why I did that. Um, we can go talk about biomes. Ooh. Cause that's what we're here to do. Awesome. <laughs> Accomplish our mission. I'm very glad my education has gotten me this far. All right, go ahead and take some food. Did you grab all that bread? Uh, no, but I stole some of your steaks. 
That's perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to grab a sword. A couple sword. Eat some bread. Can I equip this axe somehow? Thank you for, um, for I'm assuming that's Van t telling me in chat how to turn c creative mode on and off. Sorry, I just logged back onto the chat. Yeah, we've been having some difficulties. Uh, really missing Crunchy Cereal right now, who was our expert Minecraft player. All right. <laughs> we have bread. We have swords. Let's talk about biomes. I have a cornflower. Let's talk about cornflowers. It's a cornflower? What does that mean? I don't think that's really a thing. Or we haven't touched on that family in my plant systematics class. I have an Azure Bluette. Oh, so when you plant them, they, they actually grow. That's really interesting. Cornflower. Right, um, really so good. we've got here, what kind of tree is this? Squids and what seems to be fresh water. Uh, and salmon. So it could be, it could be brackish. <laughs> could be brackish. Um, so for those of you who don't know, brackish water is a mix of salt water and fresh water. And the salmon here, actually, they're red. Uh, they're red salmon, which means that they're um, in spawn when they're in the river like that, when they're red. So they're trying to make babies, and we're here to kill them, just like bears. Are there bears in this game? I don't think there are bears, no. Mm -hmm. There's dogs. Um, there's also an alpaca. There's apparently, a, yeah, there's alpaca. I'm not sure why there's alpaca either. Oh, I hurt one. I'm sorry. Where are you? Me? Oh, there you are. You're talking to the alpacas. Oh, there's someone. It's a villager. Yeah, he's, he's here to sell stuff. We could give him emeralds. I don't have any emeralds. Can I give him a daisy? No, you have to give him emeralds. <gasps> I hit him. I didn't mean to. They're going to get mad at you. I'm running away. The, the alpacas spit at you. Yeah, it's it's aggressive. All right, our first biome over here. Well, we got trees over here across the river. Let's look at it. Across the river. Across the river. So we got we got a river here. We got a fluvial system. Fluvial, of course, meaning uh, flowing water. Squids in it. In fresh water. In fresh water. Fresh water squids. Good old fresh water squids. Um, cephalopod is the group. We got uh, birch trees. These are some pretty realistic looking birch trees. If I had to, bad. they're not bad the looking. Aren't really accurate for what a birch tree would look like, but for where it would grow either, because they also grow more upwards. Yeah. They don't really grow very outwards. Too far down. The leaves are too far down. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, four out of ten, birch tree. Four out of ten. Uh, there's also a lot of hills here. Um, birch trees aren't known to be particularly mountainous. Ow. They like sunlight, though. They do, yeah. They like open space and sunlight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They're pretty densely populated. I, I don't know if there's birch forests. Um, probably not exclusively birch forests, unless it's yeah. completely human-built. Yeah. Ah, interesting. We could go over this. Uh, there's another biome over here we can compare to. Yes. Where? Down the hill, uh, behind the chicken coop. Let's talk about caves. Are there bats in the caves here? There are bats in the caves here. Do you know anything about bats? Uh, I know that they're important and they're cool. They are important and they're cool. There's a fungus called white nose and it's been killing all the bats. Yeah, white nose syndrome is uh, really detrimenting. It's decimating the bat uh, populations, especially in southern Illinois, actually. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We did for one of my classes, um, also here in southern Illinois, we got to do learn how to catch some bats. That's awesome. Do you net them like birds? Uh, we net them, but you do it at night. And then we had like some Something that emitted some sort of sound. I'm not sure because we didn't go into too much detail about it, but hmm. yeah, you, you net them in the complete dark, so you sit in the forest in the middle of the night, 
and hmm. you wait until the bat gets caught in your net, and then you look at them. Huh. They're pretty cool. They're just like mice with wings. They are. They're mice with wings, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely uh, VP of Film Society. Um, if you go spelunking, you should always never touch anything specifically like on the walls or bat food or poop or anything like that. And you should always um, wash your feet, wash your shoes, wash, um, your, fingies. wash your fingies, and never wear the same shoes uh, twice to different caves without washing them. There's a horse! Guys, look, it's a, it's a pinto. Tell us some things about horses. Uh, this is a pinto. Could be a paint. Pinto is a coloration. Paint is a whore, is a breed. It went, it nickered. It went. <laughs> oh, look at him. Can I? Am I hitting him? Oh. Today learn about not taking animals from their wild habitat and keeping them as pets. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. You should not. <laughs> as much as I look at animals in the wild and I say, take, <laughs> do not take. Do not take. Do not take wild animals. There's another horse down there. Okay, so we got this oak forest here with some some sparse bruce, uh, birches in between. That to me seems more realistic. And if you compare some good old growth forest which is quite important to like, yeah environments. definitely especially like look at the size of some of these suckers yeah actually sometimes old growth isn't measured just by size some of the smaller trees can often be really years old yeah i actually just learned about that in one of my classes today the whole thing about old growth forests huh that's really interesting yeah there's, there's lots of different definitions for it it's interesting and then it seems right away there's uh there's a, there's another biome right here that uh i don't know what that is but let's talk about the oak tree some more so it looks like i mean the bark looks pretty accurate it's a little bit um like more like lighter brown in color than oak trees are like oak trees are like i don't know they're almost more like a like an ashy brown color yeah, how, do you know, how do you know these are oaks uh they're oak tree that's what they oh, are it yeah it tells you Let's see it says oak log i don't remember what family oak trees are put that back they're, they're either fagaceae or fabaceae but i don't quite remember totally well they're definitely i mean if you compare the um birch leaves to the oak leaves you can see like from a distance almost that they're like oak leaf shaped textured. Do you see that or am I crazy? I kind of close one eye. Yeah. Like squint at it like and like turn it sideways. You can like kind of see oak leaf patterns. Yeah, but just like close both of my eyes and imagine it <laughs> look like an oak tree. Close both eyes and just imagine it. Imagine oak leaves and it looks like an oak tree. Yeah. And then, okay, so then uh, where was the other one that I just saw? This way. I don't think there's maple trees. This way, this way, this way. Behind you. Pickles! This way. Wrong way. You're going the wrong way. No, no, you're going the wrong way. Turn around. <laughs> the sun's gonna go down. We might die. Go down the hill. Bonk, bonk, bonk. All right, these look like pine trees. <laughs> it's dark now, so I don't know what anything looks like. Let's dig a hole. Yeah? Can I stand on top of you? Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is All right. uncomfortable. Oh, if I make more space. I'll make more space. <laughs> I'll just chop this up with my slab of meat that I'm holding. Yeah, yeah so um, we've also got this soil. It's interesting that they only have one soil type. Oh, hey, why am I green? Because you ate something gross. Meat. You ate rotten flesh. 
from a Zambi. How's am I supposed to eat? I have bread. Where are the steaks that I stole? Oh, they're here. Never mind. Sorry. You I'm goofball. Thinking. Well, don't eat them now because you're you'll it's like ruined or something. I don't know. I made the advancement to the Stone Age. You did it. By eating a piece of rotting meat. That's how that works. Yes, you're you're in the Stone Age now. Gonna just dig down till it's daytime. I only have eleven torches, so remind me to take these when we leave. How long uh, do they last? They last forever. Okay. They're just finite. Ooh, a different rock type. Andesite. Is that daytime music? Uh, oh, I'm not getting any music in mine. Oh. Yeah, you might have the sound turned off because of the echo. Oh. I think that's daytime music. Uh, nope. I just made it outside and then it is very dark and I'm gonna build this hole back up. <laughs> Once I figure out how to do that. Place dirt. Digging a hole down. Seeing what's in here. You know what game I'm really good at? Have you ever played Zoombinis? Played what? Zoombinis. I have literally no idea what that is, Pickles. Ask your chat if anyone knows what Zoombinis are. Hey chat, does anyone know what Zoombinis is? Zoombinis. <laughs> I have little little blue things in you. Uh huh. Uh, and what? It's really a good time. I'm sure. Well, this is going great. This is an effective strip mine. I've, I've actually found literally nothing. Fun fact: strip mining is a real thing in real life. It's yeah, how we cool. it's how we mine for iron ore, actually. It's like um, a quarry, but in a straight line, and they have a big bulldozer that goes behind it, and a big dump truck, and then one of those big cranes, and it scoops everything in. Is that really harmful to the environment? It sounds really harmful to the it's environment. It's just as harmful to the environment of quarries, except for it has a larger footprint. Okay. Quarries are incredibly harmful for the environment. If I'm standing on a very tall stack of soil, can these spiders climb it and get me? I don't think so. Chat asks if it's a puzzle game, the Zumbinis thing. Zumbinis? Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of like a puzzle game. Um, obviously meant for like younger children, but you would do like uh, you if you look sure you would totally recognize some of the characters if you ever played it. But Where are like, you? Why are you outside? You need to make it play. What did you? Howie. This is the only place on Earth that doesn't have light pollution. <laughs> Staring directly at the moon. Are, the can are there constellations in this game supposed to be correct? I don't know. That's interesting. Are they? What do they look like? I see. I see way too many stars. And they're all moving. Can I say I see Orion's belt? Because that's the only one I pretend to recognize because it's just three dots in a row. Uh, do you see the triangle around it? Then it's probably not Zumbini's Pizza Pass. Is that tree you would make them different pizzas and you have to like yeah, it was like a puzzle game. You'd have to get it right or they'd have to walk through these like, Someone in the chat found it. Bridges <laughs> that were falling down. There's a lot of spiders here. Where are you? I'm up here. Look up. Look directly up at the sky. I am lording over you. Stop. Hello. Right here. I Not see you. you. No, I see you. <laughs> Hi. Look at this. We can see every biome from here. We can. Wow, look at that. So interesting thing about where we're from in southern Illinois is that we're in the middle. We're in a quad sect of four different biomes. Right? I don't remember them. Do you know them? different biomes yeah we've got like the mississippi river valley and then we've got like 
the something plains and then the Smoky Mountain biome and the southern swamps. I'm not sure, but there's some good hiking trails. Very true. But it's kind of like that. Like we've got, you can see the, the, the difference between this, I don't know, pine tree and then the oak and then into the birch. And then we've got the fluvial system here and then cliffside. Yeah, it's really interesting. What's missing is <laughs> all the destruction from anthropogenic. Anthropogenic problems, yeah. Everything. <laughs> well, I mean, we're doing this right now. We made giant poles and we're killing all the spiders. Where's the lie? Am I right? Cool spiders, everyone. Hey, there's a big trench over there. You want to go look at that trench? Where is it? Uh, right. Like, look, look towards me, and then look slightly to the left and down. You might not be able to see it from the angle. If you look at the stream, you can see where my um, pointer is looking at. Can you turn on creative mode so we can fly? I don't think I can turn on creative mode for both of us. Let me try. Um, maybe you can do it. P press F4 and F3 at the same time. Unable to open game mode, switch no permission. Oh. Well, then I guess uh, you'll have to walk there. I guess I'll have to dig this entire pile of dirt down. It's uh, not a very big trench. It's much smaller than I thought it was. Hi. Are you, are you digging my dirt pile? No. Don't, I'll die. <laughs> What kind of trees are these supposed to be? Where? Right, that we're in now. That we're in right now? Yeah. They look like pine trees, right? No, look how they're layered. They look, well, maybe. Some kind of conifer, I assume. I mean, What's a conifer? I was conifer. Explain to chat what a conifer is. Spruce! They're spruce? It doesn't look anything like a spruce tree. Spruces are not conifer. I died again. <sighs> well? Well, I'm inside the house because I died. Uh, easy. Uh, I just gotta find the house. I'm in the house. Yeah, but I gotta find the house. Is that a village? <gasps> There's a village! At the end of the river, there's a village. That's so exciting. What? Can you teleport me there? I don't know how to do that. Chat, help. Chat. VP of Film board. Society. Yo necesito. Yo necesito. I also don't know where the house is. Oh, there it is. Whee! Why is this round? This is wild. What are you looking at? I'm just floating. Okay. Oh no. Did that. No. What's wrong? Oh no, don't say oh no. oh no. Why are you saying oh no? I don't know. I still don't know how to play the game. Yeah, those are, there's a, there's, what is this? What is it? Uh, I don't know, but it's got purple snowflakes flying around it. Uh, an Enderman? It looks like Slenderman? No. He's like a tall, skinny, like... It's like a stone arch with purple swirlies and Oh, 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 that's that's um a nether portal. Don't go in there. You'll die. Oh. I mean, you might not die, but you could die. You went in there. <laughs> Pickles, what did we say? We just said this. We said don't go in there. Okay, but like I had to know. And I've already died a hundred times, so like what's another time? That's true, I guess. That's technically true, I guess literally supposed to be held. Yeah, which is really interesting. Um, it's also just like the mantle. There's a 
little like a uh, goat man. Goats are not demonic. Stop thinking that goats are demonic, game developers. Yeah, right? Honestly, also just Christians. Like, it, it's not... It, <laughs> goats are just goats. They're like so sweet and friendly and lovable and loving. Yeah. So, I think I can get back unless I die. Um, you just go back to the portal. I don't know where it is. I swear... To God. <laughs> All right. In your house, and I'm also on fire. Is that an issue? Uh, no. Technically, technically back not. Back. Go back out that door. Hi. What do I do? You're not on fire. My screen shows flames. Yeah. So we this this exact same problem actually happened. Um, last time with uh, the poison for me, yeah, the, the the texture just sticks on it. I think. Hang on, let me jump in the water and see if it does anything. No, it's just the texture. No, I'm on fire underwater. This is exactly, yeah. It's just the texture. If you need food, there's an entire stack of bread. Just uh, when you leave, don't actually don't take the whole stack of bread though, because you're gonna die. Huh? They have bees in this game. They do have bees, yeah. Do you want to talk about bees? Sure. What uh, what order are bees in? Are they Hemenoptera? Uh, You're dying. I'm on fire. I think I got stung by the bee. Um, what order are they in? I don't know. There's different. Uh, VP says uh, if you reload, it'll probably get rid of the fire. Let again. You won't die. You're not. It's not. It's not. It's just a texture. So if I die, it won't reload. If if you die, yeah. If you die now, it probably won't reload with fire. It's just because you died with fire. What are you doing? Anyway, bees. Talking about bees. Bees are phenomenal. They are. There's a. Phylogeny, but. There's a lot of um of the controversy with the with the honeybees now because I guess they're invasive. They're non-native. Um, honeybees are invasive to the U.S. That is true. But, I mean, everyone always goes on the Save the Bees tangent, which is true, Save the Bees, but there's also other important pollinators out there. Yeah, there's other important pollinators. I don't think I was native. supposed to kill that, but I did. And also, just because something's not native doesn't necessarily mean it's invasive. Yeah, but I guess, I guess honeybees are invasive. Yeah, they because, are, well, they're not really aggressive, are they? Yeah, they like specifically outcompete the native pollinators. Oh. And they like take all the food and they're also very territorial. My friend is looking for she raises honeybees for their honey. She yeah. Looking for swarms to to keep them, up and put them in her hive. So That's good. Them. That helps. Find a swarm. That helps the native bee population because she's removing the competition from a wild area and putting them into a domesticated area. Yeah. So if you ever see a swarm of bees and you want them removed, someone will probably come get them free, <laughs> remove them without harming them. Yeah, so, so they can they keep it. They seek out the queen, they put the queen in a little box, and then all of the other bees will follow the queen. That's awesome. Yeah. Isn't it also that, like, um, the reason we have, the reason we have um, dandelions in the U.S. is also the same reason we have honeybees, that they're like most things, including <laughs> including United States citizens, are invasive. So so true, am I right? <laughs> but dandelions are actually like a really good. They're a good crop. Are they a good cover crop? Is yeah, they and they like um, they like nutrify the soil, and they also like. Um, they're like great pollinator food. They have like so many benefits, but they're totally invasive. They're non-native. They outcompete everything. Um, but they also outcompete a lot of other pest plants that um, can cause more detriment to soil and property. And honestly, dandelions are pretty. I don't know why people go crazy over. And they're e they're an edible as well. Yeah, they are. I've had a dandelion tea. Yeah. 
<laughs> but what does, am I right? <laughs> what plant that you can find growing in your front yard tastes good? Oh, field field garlic. Mint, garlic. Yeah. We have lots of mint plants. Rosemary. Rosemary. Thyme. Any herb, I guess. Strawberries. We have strawberries in our front yard. I ate a radish for the first time yesterday. I don't think I've ever eaten a radish. Don't. Why? I should make a shovel. Horrible. Is it horrible? It's kind of like the same sensation that you get from eating wasabi. Like that. Level yeah, it's like it's, it's like weirdly spicy, right? It's like spicy but burning. But like I really enjoy wasabi. Like I'll eat a whole bunch of it. The radish was just. Mm. Ooh, I don't know, lingered in your nose. Totally. Well, that's interesting. Good to know. I'll have to make sure I don't need any radishes anytime soon. <laughs> All right. What is next? What are you up to? I am digging straight down to see how far I can dig. That's how you die. Why? Put this too. What do you mean, why? Because you're going to fall into, like, lava or something. Oh. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so I don't know how to make a map. Does anyone, uh, can anyone help me make a map? I thought it was paper and a compass, but it's not. How do I make a map? That's just banner. Oh, empty map. It is compass in a map. I thought I had to do it on the cartography paper. Or on the cartography block. Where did I put it? Paper. Where's my compass? I made a compass. There it is. I need a map because uh, lately I've been getting lost. Nope. Uh... Oh shoot, I won't have enough. Oops. Let's make lots of paper. What's going on in the chat? Is anyone hanging out? Uh, a couple people. Right, yeah. No, I know that part. I just couldn't remember how to make the actual map. That's because I didn't realize that it was just... That's a lot of paper. Um, it's just in the block. I didn't realize it was just in the crafting block. I can just add... Boom, maybe. Can add paper to the map. How do I add paper to the map? Do I have to use the map first? Oh, what the? Okay, so this is really different than in Bedrock. This is, it's showing me everything already. It's also like way more detailed. Bedrock, like the old version of Minecraft? Um, it's just the console version. Oh. Okay. Cool. Okay. Can I make it bigger? Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that, I enjoy that. You have a map? I have a map and it's big. Yo soy mapa, yo soy mapa. Yo soy mapa, yo soy mapa, yo soy mapa. Mapa or mapo? Mapa. Um. I don't have a bed for you still because I haven't found any freaking sheep. That's cool. I'm straight down in a hole underground, so I think I'll be safe. Okay, cool. I'm going to build us some boats and we're going to go to that village and pillage. Pillage the village. I don't know how to get out of here. This place blocks beneath you. Or you can stay here and I can go to the village. Up to you. For whatever reason, I'm not collect. Why am I not collecting the rock that I'm? 
mining. Is it because I don't have an actual pickaxe? Yeah, probably. Oh my goodness, it's going to take me forever to climb out of here. Where are you? In a hole. Yeah, but where? I don't know. Where did you dig the hole? I don't know. I just started going. Pickles. Seven. Positive thirty-six. Negative 137, positive what? Um, 36, 40. There's a lot of freaking creepers. Uh-oh. Did you call me? Oops, I put one in a boat. And it blew up my boat. Oh no. Oh no. I can't find you. I'm gonna go down the river. Bye. I'll keep being up here. Yeah, fun. I think it was this way down the river. Life lesson in this. There's definitely a life lesson and it's called don't dig straight down in a hole, especially if you don't have the resources to get back out. What? Don't start digging if you don't have a ladder. There's definitely a life metaphor in there. That's definitely a life metaphor. Going down the river. Gonna go pillage a village. Gonna find some stuff. Wee. I hope this is the right river to go down. Thank you. Thank you, VP. Definitely, uh... Oh, sheep! How do I get out? How do I get out? Oh, okay. Come here, sheep. Come here, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Come here, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Thank you. Off we go. There's another beehive over there. You doing good, Pickles? Just, it's completely dark. I can't see anything. I'm still technically on fire and I'm just <sighs> digging and jumping. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud. I'm just trying to get out. What is happening? Come on. What is happening? Where'd the village go? I think I went down the wrong river. Cause I hit a dead end. I'm so very lost. I believe you. Left shift, yeah. Okay, well, we are going to just figure out where this village is. Oh. You okay? Where? Oh, oh it was just a bottleneck. Back in the hole that I started with. No way. Well, I live here now. <laughs> I think I need to make my avatar die. Literally, yeah, just, oh my god. Just die. If I go into the crafting menu, my avatar is fully on fire. That's amazing. I, it's like I'm just shrouded in flames. Um, I'm gonna eat all these flowers and see if any of them kill me. Okay. No, can't eat flowers. Okay. I'm just so pissed at game is this. <laughs> well, I found a village. If that helps. And it's cute. What is this? I don't know what this does. Oh, look, a chest. Like flint. Thanks. Look at this cute little house. 
I want to steal a bed. What is that, a rat? Oh, it's cats. And a fox? How do I get a cat? I don't know. You're the one who's played this game. I haven't played this version of this game. Ooh, Flint, burn the village. No, I'm not going to burn the village. They're sleeping. Look, there's a child. <laughs> Look, I'm pushing him off the bed. Taking over their house. Look, they have potatoes. Just a crafting block. I should leave the doors open when I've gone in them so I don't go in them again. Oh, cool. Look at that. Look at that. Hi. Hi. Why are you in a bucket? Why are you not in a bucket? Why are there so many doors in here? Look, there's a child. Look, he's standing on the adult's bed looking down at him. <laughs> this is horrifying. <laughs> kind of weird. What are, why are you in a bucket? Why are you in a trough? I don't know what's going on. Who designed this AI? Oh, what are these? Pumpkin seeds? Do they act relatively autonomously? I don't know. Taking these seeds. What are you gonna do? Stop me? I really don't know how to get out of this hole. Yeah, I- <laughs> Yo, I don't know what that tell you. I'm just digging straight down now until I die. Some of these bushes hurt. Why do these bushes hurt? Spikes, thorns, prickles. I suppose, but that Poison. still that still seems weird. What's a bush that hurts? Poison ivy. Poison ivy's not a bush. It's an ivy. Like growing clumps. <laughs> clumps. They're clumps! Why are there so many cats here? Ow. Help. Ah! Hey, look, another house. Can I kill him? Oh shoot, I just made my respawn point set over here. Yeah, I might have to hop off here in a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna try and come back to the house. And then uh, be done for the night because this has been kind of a chaos. Just yeah, uh, digging straight down. Dig down all the way. See where see where you can get to. I'm trying. I don't have a pickaxe. If you find my hole, can you drop a pickaxe down here? I sure can. That would be amazing. Uh, where's your hole? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um. I can still see the sky, though. Did you- is it just a one-by-one one block? Yeah. And you said it was... Does, are you on my map, maybe? There's no. Do I have a map? You have a map. I don't have a map. I think oh. I see your hole. Nope. Um, it was by the chicken coop, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Floating above me. Throw down the back. What are you doing? Are you digging down? Mm-hmm. How are you digging down so quickly? I've I'm on creative. I got creative on now. God damn it. Am I to help me get back up? Hi. I'm dumb. Wait. Better idea. There. Wait, wait, wait. I need to be standing on it. No, I'm just trying to kill you. Oh. <laughs> Dick, fuck you. No. <laughs> I'm still on fire. <laughs> but I'm back in the house. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> now I'm going to put... Uh, a single block of diamond over this hole. Can I... How does this work? 
does this work? Oh, I'm just chucking diamond. Wait, no. Don't do that. <laughs> I want to place it. I guess I'll just push dirt. There we go. No one will ever know that that's down there. It's perfect. Unsuspecting. I'm trying to catch these salmon. Do I need a net? You just kill them. You need a fishing pole. You want a fishing pole? No. All I have is dirt and flowers. No, do you want a fishing pole? No! Don't go in the house, please. Why? Because all my stuff and my XP is there. I just, I just, wait a minute. I just died and blew up the front of the house. <laughs> a creeper walked right in. Just walked in and just... Not leave the door open. No, I was, I was literally in there. This is, this is, this is not good. This is no bueno. Oh no. Okay, let's put the pants on. Let's put the hat on. I'm in your chicken coop. Okay, just don't come in my house. I'm in your chicken coop. That's excellent. I'm very happy for you. I think I just took all their eggs. Okay. That is the most devastating thing that's occurred to me today. You can't get it back? I mean, not really. I mean, I can, like it's, like it's, like it's, like it's fine in theory. But like it's, yeah, it's all, let's put all this in here. Food and tools. Did you know you can throw eggs at the chickens and they break? Okay, but don't kill my chickens, please. Not. Where did the other half of the chest go? Yo, I threw an egg and a baby chicken came out. Yeah, that's like a thing. Whoa, and now he's following me everywhere. Where did, did stuff get broken? Does stuff break when it blows up? Because I lost a bunch of stuff. I mean, it was stupid stuff, but like, it's gone forever. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Well, that occurred. I need a crafting block. Wood. Okay. So we're going to go food. That's not food. We'll go tools up here. It's not tools. It's fine. I guess I'll just have all my seeds in here. more new chickens now. Yay! Did you like feed them? No, I just threw their eggs at the ground and more chickens happened. Oh nice. You want some seeds? You can yeah. breed the chickens. Oh 
I might have to hop off soon, though. Okay, whatever you got, come put it in a chest. I only have one block of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> come look at what happened to the house. What happened? Uh, it blew up. Completely? Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm working on rebuilding it, but yeah, it, it it's poo poo doo doo now. Did I do that? No. I did that. I suppose. I got more beds though. Yeah, for all the chickens. No beds. For all the chicken. No, for people. For chicken. No. Stuck, okay, all right. This is more of a house now. All right, I think we should call it a night. Let me put a new door on the house. All right, we now have a house again. Yay! We did it. All right, well, uh, thanks so much for joining us, uh, Leather Pickles. Why, thank you. And sharing your expertise on the biomes in Minecraft and whether or not they're accurate or inaccurate and what that means yeah, for the game. Accurate, but also mostly inaccurate, but like they tried. Yeah, they like tried, but like they clearly didn't have a scientist on board, but they like Googled oh, pictures. Oh. They used Google a lot. They definitely used Google a lot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching the stream. Um, we're going to hop off and be done. So uh, thanks, guys. Bye, stream. Bye, stream.